Here's a full on tutorial for how to set up your own online course inside of Thinkific. Literally everything you need to know. What's up everyone, I'm Millie, I'm an influencer coach and welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends for how to grow your business and monetize your passions as an aspiring influencer. I currently sell six online courses using Thinkific. I've used Thinkific for as long as I could remember. So I am super stoked that they're sponsoring this video. This is the platform that I use, I recommend for creating and selling your online course. So as always, timestamps will be in the description down below because I value your time, you already know why you're here. So let's just jump into it, shall we? Okay, so I have a link down below that you can use to create your Thinkific account if you haven't already inside of that link it's actually a special secret offer link so um, inside of it you'll get all of these things so you'll get one month subscription on think of start plan online course training bundle to like teach you how to have a successful online course basically 100 plus hours from think of summits saving on softwares all the things so you can use that link to get started when you create your account you're going to fill out questionnaire like this your name, your site's name, what you want to create first, choosing between a course or a membership. For this specific video, we're going to focus on the course aspect, what your course name is, and a little bit about your business. So after you answer those questions, you're going to be thrown into here, which is your dashboard. And we're going to just jump straight into creating your course. What's great about Thinkific is they actually have a course checklist. So you can go through the checklist to get everything set up. And when you have everything set up, you could do a launch checklist. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to manage learning products, select courses and select new course. We are going to do, we're going to just choose the blank one. And this is going to be called how create an online course. Perfect. Within Thinkific, they separate the trainings into chapters and lessons. When I built out my course, I did it by, I call them modules. So basically when you're teaching your transformation, you could have different sections and groupings of videos. We're gonna add a chapter or a module and this one is going to be called the welcome module. What's helpful is if you already have your course outline, I did my course outline on sticky notes. Like I literally just wrote down everything that I wanted to teach on sticky notes, categorized them. And I was like, cool, here's a category of sticky notes. Here's a category of sticky notes. I'm just going to add a topic to each category and, or a name to each one. And that's how I broke down my modules. So we have the welcome module. Then we're going to add another module. This one is going to be called validating your offer. Then we're going to have creating your course and we're going to have launching your course. Okay. Then within each of these topics, there's going to be multiple video training. What we're going to do is add a lesson. The great thing with lessons is that it could be different types of lessons. I prefer to do video because I think it's a little bit more engaging for my specific audience. I know my audience likes video content, but you can do text lessons. You can do PDF, audio, multimedia. You can even add quizzes after each module to make sure your students are learning and retaining the information. With text, we could just do onboarding questionnaire. So with all of my courses, I like to do to the how to create an online course, course. <laughs> um, with all of my courses, I like to do an onboarding questionnaire where I ask my students a little bit about themselves and where they're at with my course topic. So for my Instagram course, The Modern Influencer, I ask them, how many followers do you currently have? What are you currently struggling with? Just a little bit about them, their handles, their business. And then at the end, when we do, let's add a chapter, let's save this. At the end, we could have like a congratulations module. I do an offboarding questionnaire where I get to see their transformation. So it's like, okay, well, how many followers on Instagram do you have now? How do you feel towards Instagram? So that's just something I like to do. So this is where I would put first fill out this form, and then you're going to hyperlink the link, open a new tab, insert. That's how people can fill out the form. We're going to add another lesson so I could show you how to add a video lesson. You're going to title your lesson and it's going to be welcome to my course. You're going to select file. This is where you can upload from your computer, drag and drop there. 
and save it here. The curriculum area is where you're going to really build out your course, add videos, add trainings, all of the things. I just wanted to show you how to add the different types of trainings or lessons that you could have within Thinkific. Next, what we're going to do is we're gonna go over to settings. If you already have your course name, um, that's going to appear here. You can have a custom Thinkific URL. So this is how to create an online course with me as the instructor. If you already have all of your branding, you can add a course image here, course player appearance. If you have the upgraded version of Thinkific, you can customize the appearance to be your specific brand colors. So I have hex codes for my branding and I'll upload them here to basically choose specific colors for the audio players. On the free version, if you're selling one course, you could do the light theme or the dark theme. So those are your two options there. And then I would say the next most important thing is to add your SEO into their course settings or their SEO settings so that your course can be easily discoverable. So into the course title, how to create an online course, teaching beginners, because that's a good SEO friendly thing, how to create and sell an online course for free or maybe how to create and sell online course for free optional make your first 10k by selling online courses on any topic you want right so we're just filling that out to help our course become more easily discoverable now let's go to pricing Okay, with your pricing, you can offer a free course that expires after a certain amount of days, or you could do one-time payment to set up the payment processing for one-time payments, or even having um, multiple payment plans. You do have to do that outside of like this course editing. To show you how to set up the payments, I'm going to log into my personal Thinkific account. To sell your course, you do have to have their start plan. And with this like sample page, I don't have the start plan. So let me log into my personal Thinkific. So these are all of the courses that I'm currently selling. Let's log into a modern influencer, which is my main course. Show you how I set up the pricing. So you choose one-time payment, and this is where you can press edit and change the pricing of your course. And then I also have two additional pricing options. So they could do three payments of 347 or six payments of 197. In order to have this set up, you do have to be connected over here. Let me show you. You're going to go to settings payments and you're gonna to connect to a PayPal and a Stripe account. Both, I think my Stripe and PayPal accounts are free, so just set up your business account. Sync to those with by putting in your email, your PayPal merchant ID, and IPN URL. But that's if you want those like monthly payments. I'd say when you're just starting out, like just have that one-time payment. It's super easy to set up and select your pricing there. After you have all of your curriculum built out, your pricing set up, then you can go ahead and publish your course. Thinkific has three options here and I love that they separate it out this way. So you can have your course as a draft where nobody can access your course, nobody can buy it, nobody can log in, nobody can see the stuff. They also have a pre-order option. This is great for somebody who's launching their very first course and they wanna offer the pre-order option. This is how you get a lot of course sales up front without actually having to build out the course yet. So they can pre-order, enroll in the course, but they won't have access to the course content yet. And then finally, a full published course means you have all the curriculum built out, all the stuff is live and ready for people to start learning from you. All of my courses are currently live and published. So everything that's within the curriculum over here, people or students can consume and learn from. What's great is you can also be adding to your course while people are learning in your course. So let me explain. I have, all of these modules are inside of my course and they are available for anybody to start learning. But if I wanted to add lessons and add modules, so we have a monetizing Instagram module, I want to add a lesson called how to create and sell an online course. I could add a lesson here. It's gonna be a video lesson and we're gonna make it a draft so that none of my students see what I'm working on until it's ready. So I'm gonna say how to create and sell profitable online course. Save. 
And I could drag this around anywhere inside of my course. And as long as it's a draft, nobody will be able to see it until I uncheck this and press save. As you add to your course, if I leave all of these open, scrolling through these lessons can sometimes feel overwhelming, especially when I'm updating my entire course. I think there's 52 videos in here. Um, so scrolling through this and trying to edit and update every single one can feel overwhelming. So they do have this bulk importer option where you can just bulk add files, add footage here. You can drag and drop um, the lessons to rearrange them. So it's kind of your course layout at an overview. And this is a view that I really like when just doing rapid updates and uploads. Now, finally, there's also this drip option. Drip is great for somebody who maybe you pre-sold your course and you want to slowly roll out content for your students. So you started pre-selling your course on January 1st. You got people to sign up for all of January, promising, hey, February, I'm gonna start rolling out course content. Well, you can set up a drip schedule so that as you're filming, you don't have to have all 20 videos ready at once. Maybe you just launch your first video and you could set that video. So this is, you could click create drip schedule. When the student enrolls, then all these videos are gonna start to drip out. So you can say this video is going to be released the day they enroll. And then this one is gonna be released one day after they enroll. This one will be released seven days after they enroll. If you don't have all of your videos done at once, that's okay. You can create a drip schedule so that each video slowly drops out over a certain period of time that isn't overwhelming for you when launching your course. So finally, once you have your entire course built out and you wanna start making sales, you're going to want to build your landing page. You just saw how I got to the landing page, but another way to do that is go to design your site, select site pages, and this is where you can build out those landing pages. So new custom page, I'm gonna say test, test. edit page and then you can customize the banner which is default you could edit the banner update the background image and what you're going to do though you're gonna add sections and if you're selling the course you want to be adding the course that you're selling onto the page obviously so we're gonna do additional products select that add product and you're gonna choose your product that you're selling. Let's say this one is the Modern Influencer. For some reason that, I think I need to update my laptop because image isn't loading. So it'll show the product. You could also go back, add a call to action. So this is how you're gonna get people to, hey, sign up for my course right now. We're gonna add also your pricing, pricing options from product the modern influencer pricing options perfect another call to action because we love call to actions here and then of course there's a bunch of other options that you can do but with your call to actions you want that button to be the checkout button so link to a checkout page and it's going to be a checkout for the modern influencer or your course now, when people click this button, get started now, it's gonna take them to a checkout page where they buy my course. So that's really how simple it is to build out a sales page. You just customize the URL, build out the sales page. That's going to be the link in your bio. People are gonna get there, land there. Then people are gonna be able to go to that landing page. They're gonna be able to select get started now. It's gonna take them to the checkout page you'll be able to sell your course. Already, if you have any other questions about how to build out your course within Thinkific, just let me know down in the comments below and I could add on to this training style or tutorial style video with more in-depth answers, walkthroughs of whatever questions that you have. So leave those comments down below. Thank you again, Thinkific, for sponsoring this video. If y'all don't have a Thinkific account already, I'll be sure to link my affiliate link down below so you could get that bundle of all of the goodness, a thousand dollars value for free. So check out the link in my description below. If made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel be sure to hug the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when i post my next video i will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching follow your joy bye